So, AI is extremely popular nowadays. I mean, you see it literally everywhere. Today I'll show you 8 FL Studio tricks to become a better producer and you have to guess which one use AI in the comments down below. Starting with a brand new one, the Stem Extractor. This one is still in beta, but you can download it from the link below. With this tool, you can separate drums, music, vocals from an existing song. Let me show you how it works. Open up the menu on the top left of your track, then find Extract Stems from Sample. Once it's open, you can choose which parts of the song you want to be separated. Then click on Extract and let FL do its thing. And there you go. Now, why would you actually use this? Let's say you're making beats and you want to make a Cardi B type beat. Well, now you can isolate Cardi's voice and build a beat around it. And that is life changing. Next up, generating chords by just asking FL, kind of like ChatGTP. GPT. Now, to do that, we're gonna need a script. Go to the browser and click on Library tab. Then find Piano Roll Script and select it. On the right side, you'll find the text to Chord Progression Script, which you can install by clicking it. Once that's done, go to the Piano Roll. Then head over to the menu on the top left and find Tools. And here you can select Text to Chord Progression. Now, once it's open, you can type in the chords you want in the text box. The chords will then automatically appear in the Piano Roll. Let's type in a dark progression. For example, E flat minor, D diminished, F diminished and E flat. Of course, play around with the voicing and stuff to make the chords sound awesome. And there you go, a generated chord progression. The next one is a brand new FL Studio sample library called FL Cloud. Be aware, this one is still in beta, but again, link below. You can find the FL Cloud right here in the browser. You can download packs or individual sounds and use them in your project without worrying. I mean, how awesome is that? You can just open up a file and start producing. You don't need to worry about anything. Trick number five? It's a quick and easy one. Did you know that you could simply drag and drop MIDI files into the piano roll? You can also just drag them from outside FL, which means you can use your own MIDIs or the ones you've downloaded from the internet. But now you're wondering how to save your own MIDIs. Let me show you. So let's say you want to save this one. Then all you need to do is go to the menu on top and then go to file. Then head over to the export as MIDI option. Now you can simply save this as a file on your computer and drag it in whenever you want. Amazing, but feature number six, change my life. Playlist resolution. You know that you can zoom in on your clips in the playlist, but sometimes you wish you could zoom in even more. Well, you actually can by increasing the clip's resolution. To do that, head over to Options and then to Project General Settings. Then go to Time Settings. Here you can increase the time base to, for example, 168. And there you go, you can now zoom in on your clips with way more detail. Number seven, grouping layers. Let's say you have this crazy amount of patterns and you want to organize them. Simply select the drums by holding Shift on your keyboard and then clicking them. Now to group them, hit Alt plus G on your keyboard. Then you can give it a name and click the check mark. And that is very useful. For number eight, we have themes and backgrounds. You can actually change the background of FL Studio by going to view, background, and then you can select one right here. Now fully customizing FL Studio is super easy as well. And to learn everything about that, click the video right here on my left. Goodbye.